In today's video, we take the 3800 out from under the Fiero and put it side by side with the 4.6 liter North Star V8 we took out of our donor DTS. You may have watched our previous video explaining our Fiero project and the fact that it didn't have the stock 2.8 when we bought it. You might want to give that a watch if you haven't. Once I put this one on, it will move very easily. Engine up here. We're gonna start the engine, not even in the car. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, like we wire. did that LS for. Yeah. There's definitely a big size difference between what we took out and what we're gonna put into it. It's pretty obvious that this fits, but. I think what we're going to shoehorn into it's supposedly it fits okay, but it definitely looks bigger down there. But you said we were going to. Yeah, we're going to have them side by side. Yeah. So. Direct comparison. Yep. Right on over here. Beautiful. I really think. You gotta say what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna go retrieve the engine and take the so we can put it in the I'm sure that we can't hear you. It's going. Going it is. You gotta get those frame sliders right there. All right. You think that's good? Yep, that's good. We can try it. Is the one on this side too far in towards the center? I really can't say. See if it's mobile. Yeah. Yeah, that looks yeah. like you can do it that easy. You can just undo the strap, so I'll back this out of the way. And then... It's got a mind of its own. Runaway engine. Yep. Come on. It's a 
pretty good comparison between the two. <laughs> I mean, you can really see the size difference with the overhead cams on how much bigger the heads are. And you can see around the crank, they're roughly the same size, and then just the overhead cam. Yeah. Looks humongous. And it's... One has a muffin top. Yeah. It's a shroom. So obviously looking at them here, it looks like a pretty good task to get that big thing on this little cradle. So what we're going to have to do first is, since we're not using any of this, no transmission or anything, we're putting all that on here. We have to fab up where the motor mounts are going to go. We got to cut this front cross member off so we can cut the one off of our Cadillac cradle and weld it in there. The biggest thing we got to do is keep, make sure we keep these output shafts in line because we don't want them, which you can actually see kind of the person who did this one, they're offset. You really want to keep them straight. So whoever did this one, you know, it's a little bit of a hack job on it which we kind of expected that we only paid $300 for it. So a lot of people don't take a GM 3.8 and put it a North Star in its place. But that's what we're going to do. Yeah. So like I said, we got this car for nothing, so we can't really complain because it's really not that rusted. But you can see, uh, like, this is going to wear out axles pretty quickly because it's always at an angle. So really, this whole drivetrain needed to be brought forward to where this is the center line because this is the center line of the control arm. So you can see the axle's going back that way. So the whole drivetrain needed to be moved forward. Oh, I see. So So if you come and look at you can come look at the stock Cadillac one over here. Um. Yeah. I mean you can see when this one was in, you know, the steering wheel's a little turned, but like you can see the center line of the transmission's coming out with the center line of the control arm. Mm -hmm. So we when we're putting this in there, we need to make sure we end up with the same thing. Yeah. With it centered. So obviously the biggest size difference is not really because 3.8 versus 4.6 is not really that much of a difference. But this is just a single cam overhead valve, just like anything. Uh, the LS is that sort of thing. It just has one cam in the center of the block with push rods going to valve train. And that's why the heads are so much smaller as opposed to the North Star back there, uh, which has dual overhead cam. So much larger heads because there's two camshafts on each head. So it's gonna make the packaging a lot more difficult with that one versus this one. But this one's a Series 1 3.8. It's a really good engine, but it only makes about 180 horsepower to where that's a 2006 uh, DTS engine, roughly rated for 300 horsepower. I think they actually got changed to 295 or something because of the new SAE measurements. Um, but we're gonna remove the AC compressor, the power steering. So we should be well over 300 crank horsepower. Don't know exactly what it will be in the engine. Um, we'll probably try to get a dyno tested at some point. So another thing we're going to have to really work on, uh, you can see where the exhaust comes out. Actually, it looks fairly, if you see the exhaust coming out the back, they mm -hmm. look fairly the same. Yeah. So maybe we'll get lucky and we won't have to cut the, cut the trunk. Yeah, you, um, you said you didn't know if we were going to use that or not. Yeah, I don't know. It, I'd like to keep the flex pipe because the engine obviously rocks back and forth. Uh, under acceleration deceleration so we have to have some sort of flex pipe and that factory one looks pretty good if we can keep it uh, the next steps are going to be really just getting that engine setting uh, well we have two options so we either can either get the engine setting on the cradle or we can go get all the wiring harness and make it run where it's at and then put it on the cradle i think we should make so, it run <laughs> probably that's more fun and less work one last thing worth mentioning is the notable size difference between the Fiero and the stock Cadillac wheel assemblies. At this point, we haven't decided exactly what we're going to do with this part of the project. Simplicity would dictate we keep the stock Fiero assembly, but with this swap, we will have a lot more power at a lot higher speeds go into the wheels. Upgrading to one of our Cadillac assemblies, or anything else, would require a lot of fabrication and added complexity. It would be a lot stronger though, and would allow us to upgrade the brakes easily.